Uh, some information from our stats department here is telling us that uh, if New Zealand isn't successful in this match, it will be the fifth time that they have ever lost in a plate semi-final. That is the Black. worst. They have lost on four other occasions. I think the first been in 2001, Kaltanana. Yes, thanks for reminding me, Willie. I just sort of got over that. Now I'm going to go back to the psychiatrist. I was captain on that occasion. <laughs> it's uh, more. I still remember it. <laughs> It was in Wellington in 2001, and then it happened again in Singapore, Adelaide, and Dubai. Balls available. Balls available. Uh, seven minutes ahead of that fifth occasion, and uh, this is a New Zealand side that will want to certainly erase the memories of earlier this morning where they lost to Canada by 15 points to 19. Candelon takes it in the counter ruck you heard from the referee, and now new man on the field is Curtis. That's not a great pass. Looks like it might end up okay for. New Zealanders because the French still inside their own 22 scrappy start for the second half from both sides Candelon finally gets his hands on the ball and the counter ruck comes in again from New Zealand Curry can't get his hands on it and Valo just puts it to the boot and it just goes high in the air here is Forbes Waka back in the sweeper position tackles have been made by the French here's Collier the tackle by Barry right around the waist, Stowers looking for some work out in the middle, stops Jinx, and then he released the ball for Waka on the inside. Stowers is in for a second. It took a bit of time. But Sherwin Stowers puts New Zealand ahead. Yeah, got into passing there from the New Zealand team. Sherwin Stowers coming off his line on the open side, comes to the blind, gives it to Boating Waka, creates the overlap, and then Boating takes out the sweeper, doesn't take the contact. Just the speed of Sherwin Stowers, and he's made a difference just plain and simply because his attitude every time he's touched the ball. He's gone forward with the ball with a bit of fire in his belly. One of the experienced players of this young New Zealand side, 28 years old. That's his fifth try of the weekend. And the all important conversions. On that occasion, he's unsuccessful. So New Zealand lead 12 7. And that really was the difference in that match against Canada. Count the conversions, they both scored three tries. Yeah, so important in the game of Sevens. Now, it's interesting to know too, Tim Mickelson hasn't come back after half time and Ambrose Curtis has replaced him. So he didn't look good in the back end of that first half, did he? The restart. Michel loses it forward and Valo is in front of him. So the mistake's starting to now mount up against the French. Been just their own worst enemy from kickoff. First to knock on and then grabbing the ball. And all it does is slowing down the play. New Zealand will take their time. They're not in a rush. The other one's in front. But a lot more communication. You can see very animated New Zealand team with their body language. Joe Weber, the step up. And then the offload. Curry running a beautiful line. Bob bobbles it. And then he's able to maintain it. New Zealand go hot on attack. That's the 22 from France. Through the gap goes Waka. Waka won't be stopped. New Zealand have three. Did he get it down in time, Willie? Try to break come up, round there. Happy the player granted the post. The You're not sure. Okay, let's go RVR. Oh, well, 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 hold the foam. No doubt about him getting in the in goal area, but has he touched the line? Oh, I think he has, Willie. I think his boot is touched before he gets the ball down. Watch his left leg, right leg there. Oh, that's tough. Put it on you, Willie. What do you reckon? Look at that again. Just want to have a look at that again. This will be the angle. Watch his right leg. Oh, geez, I don't know. Yeah, that angle there, I think that it suggests that he is actually out before he puts the ball down. I'm happy. I'm giving it a try. There you go. Fun. Thank you. I'm going to give it a try. He's happy. That's his decision. We had multiple views, and I still got to make a choice, so. Bodie Waka, well, he'll be having a sigh of relief. He won't want to look over at his coach, I'll tell you that. <laughs> had he not scored there. Of course, it happened. It's a Sonny Bill Williams moment, isn't it? And uh, with the All Blacks, 
And so the try is awarded. Understand in 2011 when you lost to Samoa 21 12 that John Alomu was also in your side. Yeah, Christian Cullen coming back and had a bit of a cry in the changing rooms. Why are you reminding me, Willie? Yeah. <laughs> Mazue gets the ball, and so how does France respond with three minutes to play? Never ever ride a French side out of the competition. Valo, they just haven't really had the opportunities though in the second half. New Zealand have been a lot more physical. They've also really challenged them at those contact areas like now where Scott Curry has gone in. And they missed the opportunity. Here's Barry. The offload's gone forward, and so another mistake from the French. Yeah, a lot more accurate in the first half. Where the French team, just these little mistakes, you see there, the shake head, they're starting to push the pass now, and that's the secret is they took their time, they're a bit more accurate a bit more deeper the French team so they've been their own worst enemy in this one that's the thing that probably hurts you the most as a player when you beat yourself not the opposition beating you France earlier today losing to England in a tight match by 10 points to nil they were competitive in that match right to the last few moments in New Zealand history being written by the Canadians and congratulations to them uh, these pitches going live through British Columbia and you'd be absolutely stoked and very proud of what your team has achieved in this tournament. Put themselves a date with England. And that match coming up a little bit later on. And confusing with that, Willie, I suppose this New Zealand team, they can take a lot of pride out of the way. They've bounced back from their disappointment because they'll be hurting, no doubt about that. They've been pressured by this French team who were going to be physical with them, as you would expect. Morohua on the field in jersey number four. He's a good player, Terry Morohua went missing from the side through injury and uh, there was talk of discipline and other things but when he is in the french side they are organized they play with a lot more passion and he just gives them so much more direction yeah, i was very surprised that he didn't start the game or even come on at the half when they needed some injection because you're right what well, he's very decisive in this tournament in tokyo i thought he's played well Mariko Iwani, the young 18 year old gets a chance to come on and replace sherwin stowers and that experience coming to the fore again. You mentioned it, Carl, that when Sherwin Stowers every opportunity he got. So, so Gordon Titchens has decided to give some of the young guys a chance now in the last 90 seconds of the match. Yeah, what I like about it, well, Sherwin Stowers wasn't happy that he's coming off. And that's the attitude you've got to have, whatever team you're playing for, whatever time you're on the pitch. How long does it take a player to get used to the systems and to the style and the tempo that Sir Gordon Titchens wants to play? Oh, it yep. takes yep. maybe one whole season one and a half season before your body really starts getting in there and your mind as well is probably the thing that needs to adjust the most oh, that was a new zealand feed but good french scrum and luck of fear moves from the wing now back into the forwards a kick along the ground how's it waited brilliantly for candelon that is unbelievable you happy there happy i thought it was going to roll out and it just stayed in field and julian candelon said i'll pick up my 79th well it's a smart play because the sweeper for new zealand Bodie waka was caught up at the last ruck the way he controls his body he watches his legs he keeps him up away from the try light uh side light like he's sliding to first base and that's a good score by candelon can't slide into first you'll be out any second third and home i forgot you played slow pitch willie i played uh, shortstop <laughs> More like tiddly wing here, yeah, tiddly runs, hit and run. As Brohua gets us underway, the last moments of the game that's gone forward from New Zealand. And I'm sure that's an area of the game that they will be discussing the kickoffs. Well, Willie, we've got a scrum here, we've got five seconds left, and a converter try evens us up, so by no means is this game finished. Brody Waka under a complaint. Looks like he suffered a couple of injuries in Hong Kong, but he. He never wants to give that spot up and wants to stay on as long as he can. Fine. But you're so right. A converted try will tie it up and we'll go into extra time. Borohua, you know that the scrum is going to be solid from the French. Now they look to try and work something out wide. Candela on the loop around again and that's gone forward. I can't, he could it well. He went on with it and there you go. This could be a bit of trouble here from Rico Iwane. This is silly stuff. They don't need to do it. The game is done. It's one. You don't need a hip toss. This is bad. Break up. Break up. 
first break up. Let's just see what the referee wants to do. What was the story there? Uh, it's it, it, not throw hard, fast. You hoist it and uh, do the ball. They I can't hear yeah, you. Wait, wait. Can you get away, please? Get away, please. I saw it. The black yes! 11. Black 11. Uh, down him to the ground. Okay. 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 Hang on. Uh, can I see captain, please, yes. at 11? The game would have ended on a knock on. Even from though I'd blown France. Uh, quiet, please. Quiet. Even though I'd blown for the forward pass, I had not blown full time. You threw the player down dangerously. So that's after the whistle. I've got a bend. I'm going penalty there. Well, they're down to six players penalty now, up. so hold the phone is right. I have not blown full time, so I've got here a bend. Here it is here. Rico Ioane. <laughs> Can't do that. That is dangerous player. Now the wash-up is here. Go France, an opportunity to get a try. Well, France converted try would send us into extra time. And now through Inigo. Six players, New Zealand against seven. Borohua clears it out. Mazue out to Kandalon. Kandalon gets through the first tackle of Forbes. Webb is there. Desperate defence from New Zealand. Forbes goes in. And he's won the turnover from the knock-on. New Zealand dodge a bullet. Some emotion showing here by both teams. But all in all, game is over. Started dusted. What a great game. Physical there. Tremendous comeback from France. You can never write them off, but New Zealand have won this game three tries to two. And they will make their way through to the final. New Zealand beating France by 19 points to 12. The final score is France 12. New Zealand 19. The winning team is New Zealand.